we've never had it this good in the history of the Delta State of Assembly. We are imparting positively, positively to Deltas. That is the story of the transformation that you are witnessing. And it's not just ending. You know, you see that um, the, we were having accommodation uh, issues, particularly uh, what, you know, the state of the chambers now, if I may go back to the chambers. Um, the chamber was supposed to be a very sacred place, the hallowed chambers at it were. But because we were having difficulties, uh, accommodation problem both for the staff and both for committees or uh, uh, operations. So he came up with the idea to kind of be able to get the approval of His Excellency to equally put up a new structure entirely, which is going to be the administrative building. That is the one that is, and the edifice is fantastic because it's full, you know, uh, um, state-of-the-art uh, complex uh, building with lifts, uh, modern gadgets and all that. So members are, are saying no, they will move from their offices to the new uh, mayor and the staff already, they are telling me, in fact, they are already thanking us for bringing, you know, light to their working environment. They are so expectant in moving into the new building. man has done marvelously well that uh, even some of the past speakers that are still in the house they openly confess that what they are experiencing they were unable to do in their tenor I was there as a speaker to be honest with you I didn't have that project in mind, not the vision. I was asking him, why was it that, why we were there, you didn't initiate these fundamental changes that we are seeing. And I must be honest with you, he has done quite eminently well in terms of transformation. By and large, I believe that everybody who was voted to the Fifth Assembly came with a consciousness. One, very well, first, is to serve his, his constituents or her constituents to ensure that they get the benefits of representation. And we may not have met everything they, they want, but then in life you can't say you, you, you can do everything. You can't please everybody. So my only plea will be, well, where we, where we have our shortcomings, they should bear with us. And will forgive us where outrightly we have failed. But by and large, the only reason why we're here is to serve our people. And the Fifth Assembly, in my opinion, we've done our best. And I, 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 I give kudos to my colleagues. Their cooperation, their understanding, their patience is something you cannot wish away.
and welcome to News Track. I am Adeshawa Josh. These are the stories and reports we're tracking right now. It appears that Nigeria's ruling party, the PDP, have to contend with political alliances outside the All Progressive Congress, going by yet another alliance that has emerged in the country. Well, this is because five political parties that say they are coming together to form a working political alliance. Announcing this at the emergency national executive meeting of the National Conscience Party, the national chairman of the party says the Advanced Congress of Democrats, Social Democratic Party, People's Redemption Party, National Conscience Party and Labour Party are joining forces to give Nigerians an alternative ahead of the 2015 elections. The group is also asking President Goodluck Jonathan to address some of the issues raised in the letter written by former President Ulushegu Obasanjo. Our correspondent, Larry Lassisi, reports. As the year ends, political activities in the country have picked up. Following the merger of some political parties some months ago, another set of parties have formed an alliance. We are paying that up to now, the Nigerian people are yet to count their blessings in full without making unpleasant reference to how they are being governed. That, that is why we resolve, as a political party, not to be part of any merger, but in a working alliance with other like-minded political parties, i.e. the Labour Party, the People's Redemption Party, the Advanced Congress of Democrats, and the Social Democratic Party, SDP, who are here present with the NCP in solidarity. They've also appealed to President Goodluck Jonathan to address the country on the contents of the letter written by former President Olusha Gwambasanjo and respond to the allegations raised in the letter. But it is instructive to note that the president, that President Goodluck Jonathan, should address the nation as a matter of urgency and answer most of the damning allegation which was leveled by the former president which has placed this country on an unsecured situation. Representatives of some of the political parties spoke on why they have come together as a new political front. The parties on ground, uh, from what you can see, are a mixed up of uh, strange bedfellows with different ideas and different ideologies. That is why a people of like minds from different political parties that we share the same ideology concern for our country decide to come together as an alliance to see how we can contribute to the solution of the situation our country for itself. The parties say details of their alliance will be presented to the public next year as a third alternative for the people ahead of the 2015 elections. Lanry Lassisi, Channels Television News. In the meantime, the newly appointed chairman of the APC Governors Forum, Rochas Okorocha of Imo State, says his appointment will strengthen the party and the country's democracy. He says the decision was unanimous and is aimed at galvanizing support for the party in all the geopolitical zones of the country ahead of the 